Your relationships work as a function of your shared future. Let me say this again. Your relationships work as a function of a shared future. Hi, my name is Mertz Lambert. I'm creating content to help you navigate this thing called your mind and enjoy life in a deeper way than you ever have. So what I just said, your relationships are a function or work because of a shared future. That's truly actually what it is. Two people come together, they imagine a future together and they can see each other in the future of the other. I like that. It was a rhyme. Didn't intend to do it. Now I did it. In that, seeing yourself in the future of the other and seeing the other in your future, you now create a relationship and you can walk that journey of life together for as long as that stays. And here's the other thing. Most problems in relationship occur when that gets questioned and you start pursuing or seeing another future that could be without that person or a future that you want to walk into that you don't see your partner coming with. Now, I'm talking about this and it relates to romantic relationship as much as it relates to business relationships and the relationship that you might have with your employees. People leave a company when they don't see themselves working there anymore. They look in their future and for whatever reason, for whatever happened in that environment, they stop seeing themselves in there in their future and what they think their future is. And it's the same in a love relationship and a romantic relationship. Now, when you see that and when you know that, you might wanna be conscious about that and actually consciously continue, and that's the magic word, continue creating a future that you see them inside and you see yourself inside their future. And how do you do that? I tell you the magic word, communicate. You actually talk with your people about it. And in a partnership, that could be that from time to time, you sit down with your partner and you talk about the future and you talk for as long as it takes to align your vision of the future, right? Me and my wife, we have conversations and we're constantly, when something changes, like we're constantly talking of the future that we both wanna walk into and we make sure that what she's doing has place in my future and what I'm doing has place in her future, right? Not to limit what we wanna do, but to include the other into the picture. When you're in a business, you wanna do that with your employees. You wanna know where do people wanna go, right? And then your company, the values of your company, the mission of your company, is a place where people can fit that future in. And if they don't fit in to where you want to take the business, it's a great indication for having a hard conversation and saying goodbye, human being that wants a different future. There is no hardship around it. We're going to go this way. And if you want to go that way, that's fine, but it's not going to happen here. So being clear about your future will actually help you create a higher level of relationships with the people working for you or with your partner than being unclear, looking, wondering why people go apart and all that stuff will do for you. So if you want to take a relationship in your own hands, realize that your relationships are determined by a shared future and having beautiful conversations about that can actually empower your relationship like no kidding. So if you want to learn more about creating your future, feel free to contact me. That's what I do for a living. And if you like this content, like and subscribe, and I see you on the next one. Goodbye.